happy to welcome you at the ceremony of uh, Unseen Dummy Awards. And uh, we know that uh, among the audience, there are a lot of people who submitted their dummy, so we are really happy uh, you could make it here. And uh, today we will hear who is the winner and if we have any runners up, if we have any special mentions. So let's keep the suspense for a bit and uh, our highly esteemed jury will announce uh, their decisions. And also they will talk about the process, uh, how they were working together. They spent all the day, starting from early morning, uh, working on the selection, having quite heated discussions, at least the parts I heard. So uh, very curious to hear what they have to say. And um, yes, uh, I'm the head of the Unseen the Book Market and the Dummy Award. So again, happy to welcome you. And I will also introduce uh, every jury member. So from the right, Dieter de la Thauer, uh, he was the winner of the Unseen Dummy Award 2016. And this time he's part of the jury. Uh, Delphine Bedell, uh, she is having a lot of different functions, an artist, a curator, uh, a publisher with Metabooks. Uh, Anne-Christine Bertrand, a curator from CEO Berlin. Uh, Paul van Mammerin, director of uh, Lecturis, the publishing house that is going to uh, publish the winning dummy. And finally, Remy Coigne, the chief editor of the ICE magazine. So please enjoy your time and I wish everybody good luck. Thank you. Yeah, very warm welcome also from us, from the jury of this year's Dummy Book Award. Um, we decided that I will do the moderation. I will try. <laughs> and um, the selection process, we will do a kind of little discussion um, in order to really let, give you some insights about our thoughts because it was a really very good selection and um, we were really thinking a lot um, what kind of um, selection or, or result we want to come up with. And um, it's very interesting because it happened to be two books um, that we will present um, that finally were the most handcrafted ones, the most handcrafted dummies. So it doesn't mean that it has always to be the most perfectly produced um, result, but that it's more about um, the playful um, combination of um, and high quality combination of content and form. So Delphine will give us an insight about the winner and the special notion we decided to give this year. Delphine, up to you. <laughs> so, um, it was a very interesting day. We saw amazing projects with uh, some projects that <coughs> span over two, three years of research. So, it's really fantastic to see the dedication of some artists to, to their subject matter and how to convey that in the form of the book. So, what is interesting, as you said, to remind, it's we're judging a book dummy award. So, we're not looking at the final book, but we're looking at a project that is in the process of becoming possibly a self-published or published book. Uh, in this case, it's running up for an award. There is only one award that is important to say uh, that is uh, going to be published uh, by Lecturis. So all this uh, we keep in mind uh, when we are evaluating and looking for uh, the winning publication. So this year we felt that two books really stand out. And so um, it's my delight uh, and honor to present together with the jury uh, the winner of uh, Unseen Dummy Award 2017. So <laughs> the winner is um, Malgora Zata Stankiewicz with her book Dummy, Cry of an Echo. This book stood out in uh, many ways. Every single page of this book is handmade, hand painted. The entire book uh, is made by hand. And 
also this very crafted uh, subject has a very strong haptic, tactile quality, very poetical. It, in reality, address also a uh, social and political issue, which is uh, the threat to uh, primary uh, forest in Poland. And um, she succeed to convey, um, through a strong aesthetic, uh, a complex and difficult subject to translate into a unique uh, visual language, both in the form of a book and in the form of uh, images. This is the uh, reason that led us to uh, award this book uh, as a winning uh, book. So you can uh, see uh, later uh, during the festival the dummies uh, more in detail. So I'm gonna browse for the audience quickly, also from far and with uh, a colored light, it surely betrays all the inner uh, qualities of this book, but I'm gonna just try to browse uh, through the publication. And maybe what you can't um, feel now, it's really also about the very haptic quality of the book when you feel the paper, the kind of paper that was chosen that goes very well with the content. Yeah, she used a Japanese paper that we use for uh, ink painting called Sumi E in Japan. And this is a very strong combination that works for her uh, images. But you see our pictures of the forests. It's a primeval forest in Poland, one of the last remaining ones in Europe. Um, and so it's mainly images of light, like a walk in the forest, but then she has, uh, with, with a manual process, she has painted over trees and parts of the, of the, of the forest. As, as, sorry, as the trees are uh, destroyed. Yeah. So it's a forest of Bialowice. And it's actually not only painting, but really also making experiments yeah. during developing the images, etc. So it's actually a very deep reflection, not only about the topic itself, but also about what an image is to itself and like also bringing in front the materiality of the photographic surface. So there are all kind of different aspects appearing in this book. Um, and translating the content into a co very coherent uh, visual language. So, unfortunately, the book is too fragile to circulate it here around the audience. But you are welcome to see it, as I said, in the uh, in the book market afterwards. And this year, for the first time, uh, we felt the need to award also a special mention to a second publication. And we thought that it was a subject worth of uh, attention, and the book was also uniquely um, uh, crafted in the way it was uh, through multi layers, multiple perspectives, multiple voices conveying um, a difficult uh, subject. So the book is The Special Mansions Go to Miki Hasegawa for a book, um, Internal Notebook. So the book addresses the subject of uh, violence, uh, domestic violence and abuse against children in Japan. Every year, almost daily, children are dying under uh, these circumstances. And also, it's a very uh, important and dark subject that uh, of uh, uh, social issues that take place in many other, other countries as well. Um, the visual language and the, the multiple layers that she creates, the foldings, the insert, uh, all the hand interventions, the image glues, it, it's between a, a chronicle, a diary, an investigation, uh, a social documentary. It conveys a lot of uh, visual languages and aesthetic into one and creates really a, a unique and singular language. So we have personal narratives in the first voice by both children and adults, uh, still lives, um, loca image of locations, um, personal accounts of uh, experiences, portraits, all this comes together in this really uh, unique uh, form uh, to talk about um, an important uh, question. 
and also showing or translating these kind of layers of memory also because the people that are uh, interviewed in this book are people that were abused as children and actually the whole book and the cover are referring to these notebooks children had often to write down their inner feelings or their, their thoughts especially when they were then older. So all of these people are kind kind of traumatized by their um, experience in their childhood and the multilayeredness of memory and the multilayeredness of feelings are very well a, a form of the of the book so as well in this uh, uh, publication every page has been folded and crafted by hand and it's not to say that we were especially looking for this but this is also an opportunity to remind that it's a dummy book award and then it doesn't have to be a finished object you have the freedom to uh, also have these elements uh, because we're not judging a, f a final book and then still a lot of decision can be made till the publication and distribution process. But what we're looking for, for is a strong combination of how a story is told and how the form chosen supports the way that story is told. And, um, and this is the reason that we came to uh, select these two um, projects. Yeah, and I would like to, to address uh, Paul because um, actually as a publisher, yeah, we were really discussing like how can a book like this be published because I mean as Delphine just said every page is really carefully uh, folded it's a very special way of producing the book maybe it would be interesting for us all yeah. to hear your thoughts as a publisher yeah, this dummy is, is it, indeed it is a dummy but on the other hand the book is as it is now is very good and um, it would be uh, cost a fortune to produce a book like this in a, in a larger amount because it's all the, 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 the fold outs, the, the loose elements, the, all the, the specific details of paper and finishing make it a very special dummy. And as it is now, it would be lovely as it, is, as it would be in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> if you could buy it like this, you would re immediately buy it. It's, it's also because of the, the handmade quality it has. So when you would uh, decide to publish a book like this, you have a major challenge because the costs will be uh, uh, enormous. So you have to decide to, to decrease some elements of the book and that would, would be a, a pity very much. Um, every time, also of course with the, the winning dummy, uh, as a publisher, and you go and have a talk with, uh, in this case, Malcor Zata, I, I hopefully I pronounced it correct, and I, I heard, heard she was in the, in, the, in the audience. Is that correct? Is she here? No, there. Can you step forward, please? <laughs> Give her a, a warm applause. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> well, here's your book. <laughs> and it's nice to see your face as well. <laughs> Come, up. Come here. <laughs> And now the, the, the second stage, of course, in the process uh, to become a book. Do we have a chair? Could we get a chair for her? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Maybe you also want to say something about your book. Yes. yes. It would be interesting. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll let you finish and then I'll yeah. finish. Okay. <laughs> So the, we've got a dummy, and now the dummy needs uh, to become a, a book which you can buy in the shop, and that's an interesting process. We're going to talk, we're going to sit and talk and discuss about all the details of the book, about typography, about paper, about finishing, about everything the dummy contains. And we, as a jury, we already mentioned some elements that we think, thought of could be more maybe adjusted or better or whatever. But that's the interesting point of the dummy. It's not a finished book. So, yeah. are you happy? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, um, it means a lot, um, not only because it's my work and it's been appreciated by you, um, but also because this, this topic actually, um, it's very important to me. Um, I'm Polish. I haven't lived in Poland for past 12 years. 
Um, but when I found out about um, this assault on Białowieża National Park or the forest, which is the last primeval forest in Europe, um, I just had this sudden urge that I have to go there and and see it and see what happens. Um, so I managed to um, contact the national park and I became a volunteer and I spent a month there. I was helping out doing some forestry works. Um, and then I also photographed, and it was very intuitive. I really didn't even know what will come out of it. Um, I work within the analog realm of photography, so um, then I, I came back to Zurich, where I live, um, and somehow this process just started, and, um, and I also worked with um, expired paper, and kind of, I just felt like that was a way to translate um, the feeling I had onto onto images, and that was actually also what the jury convinced, because it's very important this intuitive aspect, because you could have done a kind of documentation about what's mm -hmm. happening there, but it would have been very much from the brain, and that's something we read every day in the newspapers, and we started to be kind of, yeah, we, we read it, but we are not really affected. But when you go this book, through this book, that was also an aspect we, I think, didn't mention yet. There is a certain silence and a certain poetic and a certain, you, you mentioned it, a silent cry in a, mm -hmm. or, or a silent, yeah, silent cry, I think, or silent shout. Um, yes. But it's something that you can feel. It captures you on another level. And that's actually something also that convinced us and that was then also underlined and, and um, exp um, experienced by the choice of paper, printing, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. um, and indeed, the question was really for us, um, shall we also have a look at a dummy with the eye on the final book? So do we also have to have in mind how well this book later can be transformed into a book? Or is it really to, to see the dummy as a final, or not a final, but as an art form for itself? And that was our decision to do, um, because especially in this case here, our fear that the idea or the intention can be destroyed once you start to make um, like changements, because then it's better to print uh, afterwards, um, was really a, a very important concern for us and that we also wanted to address and which we very much discussed during the jury session. And just to make you aware of these different aspects and questions um, related to, to book printing. Yeah, and the artists are of course aware when you choose to apply and submit your work to a jury and the winning prize is to get your book published that you understand they will be in your conversation and your work collaboration with a publisher then, then you know some some transformation will will happen but uh, it's also an opportunity to to see how um, in this context of 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 uh, and seeing to understand how uh, this and show how this process can, can, can I, I would like to say also uh, it's a one of the beauty of uh, uh, dummy making, uh, the artist uh, can do whatever they want. Uh, after uh, producing a book, uh, it's a, a technology, it's an industry, and, but that's the wonderful thing with dummies, you, you can do whatever you want. So we felt like celebrating that very much. <laughs> So, and do, do you want to say a few, few, few words also? Like how long did you, t how long you've worked on this uh, on project? This project? Yeah. Um, so I, I um, You can move the microphone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was in, um, I went to the forest in April last year, and then um, I started printing um, probably in June, and I made um, about 200 different silver prints. And so this is an edit of, um, I think, 46 or 47. Um, it probably took until December. And then I started making some tests with different papers. Um, but actually, it was pretty early on that I found this uh, paper that worked really well. Um, but I do it on the weekends or in the evenings, so it takes longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe you want to say a little bit more because I mean uh, it was mentioned in the very beginning and it would be maybe interesting um, to see because Dieter was um, his book was selected last year as the um, 
and seen her award, yeah. And um, for, it was very interesting to hear also your thoughts during the jury session today because you had this point of view as an artist who has produced his dummy himself um, and also then working with the publisher in order to get the book published and at the same time now being somebody who is then also judging on other person's dummies. So what is your personal um, well, in, I, I feel I feel or, double luck. I was yeah. very happy last year to be the winner. Um, and then being invited as, to become member of the jury this year was also, uh, it felt amazing. And it was a great day today also just to be possible to work together with these people. Uh, but also to see the, I think we had 34 dummies in the shortlist this morning. So we just went maybe a quick introduction to how we uh, worked. So we first uh, looked individually to all 34, then we had our own uh, short list. Uh, and then in the afternoon we had a discussion uh, between each other to see, okay, which one uh, stands out and which one do we think really uh, deserves to be the winner. And so these two really uh, stood out. Uh, but I think it's also important to see that also in the other uh, books there was a very interesting topics. Uh, or there were also interesting ways of designing and um, bringing forward the book form. Um, but these two really combined the two. And for me, it was also interesting uh, to see, first of all, how the process is going. Uh, but also to, to, to really find and discuss about books. Um, and I'm happy that uh, it's the, these two, they were on my shortlist. Um, yay. Um, but. Um, yeah, and then I really felt uh, both uh, the book about the forest uh, in Poland is, is really, uh, it's a sensitive, like a sensitive walk through a, a forest that is disappearing slowly. Um, and it has a, a certain dark feeling on it, but at the same time, it's very tactile and, and it becomes soft. Um, and then there's a, this book, this book um, about um, abused children, and it's, it's really hard, and I felt really uh, emotional seeing it. Um, and it, especially also because it's, it's, it has a nice balance between um, the harshness of the drama of the children, and then in the second part, there's also a view on, uh, on the parents and how they uh, live it. Um, and it was also interesting for me then from my own perspective being um, having gone through the process together with Paul and Lecturis to produce this book. Uh, it's well, there are limitations to production of a book. You can dream whatever you want, but the real goal is, well, there's an economic context and there's uh, means and investments. So you have to find a way to balance content and what you want as an artist together with what is feasible for both books on the table it was um, it's, it will be challenging uh, challenging for the for the winner for the paper uh, but we really think it's possible and it deserves it and then for the for the book um, from um, Miki Hasegawa um, that's much even more complex because as you have seen all the folding and the inserts and there's uh, photos taped into it into a great um, uh, coherent uh, results, but uh, and we really hope that this book will find a wider audience and at some time, uh, the sooner the better, and, and that it gets picked up. But from a production point of view, I think that really needs some reconsideration or to uh, self-publish it or find a, find a way. Uh, and that's of course also interesting today to see um, the confrontation between production, what is feasible, because they are dummies today, um, and content, and um, how artists express their topic uh, in different ways. So it was a really, it was an amazing day. <laughs> <laughs> It's true that as, an, as a jury, it's a, it's a unique opportunity because through all the book dummies, you get to see a kind of sense of the sign of a time. You, you know what are the preoccupation coming up. So, so a lot of the books were had a political uh, uh, concern um, around question of borders, uh, migration, uh, refugees, uh, environment, and sometimes taken in a more broader uh, perspective. 
um, or, or colonization, or and sometimes taken from the point of view of very personal narrative. So you, you get the opportunity to see how um, you know there are. Is, there is not a privileged point of view to tell a story. There is a an incredible diversity of ways of telling the story, but. Um, you also see some projects that have very strong narrative but didn't manage to fully come to the point that it becomes a really interesting uh, dummy. Maybe it needs a bit more time or a bit more uh, processing of the material. And some have outstanding design but feel maybe something got maybe um, not totally translated there. So, so it's, it's always also a balance between uh, uh, multiple elements to make a good, uh, um, from my <laughs> experience as a publisher. And there were also yeah. some uh, some books with, with really great images, really great f photography, but then the design was a little bit, well, all, all of the members of the jury were, like they started, oh, it's a pity of the of the hard box clamshell or something, and then, but the photographs inside are really amazing. Um, but then it's, if you put everything together, then we have to come, there are some projects and some dummies which stand up and which have, uh, have all aspects which come together. Mm -hmm. So that's also uh, an, an aspect of, of the jury, during process. Uh, I will say uh, just uh, two words. Uh, I was amazed by the quality of the, uh, all the books in the in the shortlist yeah. and the creativity. Uh, would it be in design or in photography? Even if uh, the two didn't always match uh, perfectly together, but it was uh, really uh, uh, incredible. And yeah. also, uh, I would like to say, I think it's always a good idea uh, to send your dummies uh, to a dummies award, will it be here or in other uh, festivals? Uh, because the, all the, the shortlist, if you are shortlisted, it's, it's a victory. And all the publishers that, that are in the um, uh, book fair uh, will look, we will look uh, at the, the dummies exhibited at the shortlisted. And every year, uh, when I go to bookshops, uh, I see published book I saw the year before uh, during a fair or festival. Mm. Yeah, and that's, I think, very important. You mentioned something very important, which we didn't do yet. That's to thank all of all other artists that have sent in their dummies, because it was really a pleasure to go through each of them. And um, I think it's very, very important that you keep on going. And even if this time you were not selected in the final round, then try with other contests because it was really a high quality and um, I think it's also a very good way to, to l maybe learn and I mean we saw that in every single project there was a lot of like heart and energy and, and everything in it and um, and it's always a good experience I think to figure out okay where might be um, still a little bit of lack um, strong images very good topic but maybe layout wise not yet the final thing or the other way around sometimes the layout was beautiful but then the images were not not always strong enough but it's that's the the, the very high um, challenge to, to really merge content and image and I think this process is something very crucial to artistic practice especially in photography and it's really worse to go and, and the that, results were really beautiful and that was uh, one question we asked us uh, today yeah. uh, should we consider uh, a very good photographic project, yeah. but then that need to be redesigned uh, with a publisher, or do we consider a, a dummy uh, as a, a very good uh, project? We were on stage while we were, Daria was still trying to reach the winning artist. Is Miki Asegawa here or not? No, she's no. not there. Okay, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think um, it was a very very rewarding work uh, mm -hmm. today. We would like really to thank all people uh, that have sent in their dummies. We would like to thank Daria for the invitation to come here and to be part of the jury. And I, I would like to thank also the other jury members because it was a very large pleasure to work with you. And yeah, congratulations. <laughs> and yeah. I and, and to thank Le Lecturis who also makes the yeah. book possible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So much. Thank you. Maybe you want to have this one or like <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, thank you very much, everybody. And actually, we have another 10 minutes for questions. So maybe um, it's a good time to ask your questions uh, about the judging process, uh, anything you want to know, um, maybe how the winner is going to work with uh, Paul afterwards. Uh, are there any questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> no? Thank you. OK. Is it I on? think. Okay. Okay. There is one? Yeah. Where? Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. In the dark. Okay. Um, you were talking about how you were judging uh, the dummies. Um, what I'm interested in is you said uh, a dummy is basically an artistic decision, so everybody can do everything, yet you continue to say um, when you talked about the book about the child thing. Um, that it is basically un, not not really uh, good material to publish. So my question would be, um, what is the aim uh, of of the award? Is it aiming at awarding a project to publish it, or is it awarding a um, sort of artistic product? I think that's something what we discussed about today as well, because that's exactly a crucial question. We decided this year, at least, um, very freely in the jury, that it's also about, um, I mean, it's about quality. And it's about um, something that um, a dummy can be, but a book might not always be able to be. So um, it's, it's, I, I think, think it's very important to say that um, well, just to be clear, and I'm not sure if we were clear enough, that for us there was clearly unanimity for the winner that was the, um, I forgot the title, but about uh, the Cry forest. Cry of an Echo. Uh, Cry of an Echo. Um, and then, but all the jury members also had, had a very strong feeling for, for this, this book. This one, yeah. To, um, and we had to, well, and we just wanted to, to point out afterwards that, well, okay, um, this is a good book. We wanted to. Ha we hope that it will be published. That's why we put it, uh, and we show it to you. And we we hope that by bringing a special mention to it, that she can can use that special mention to maybe open doors or to do something with it. Um, and we just also realize that uh, even though it's a, a beautiful and a perfect, well, it, it's not perfect, but it's. Uh, for us, for some, at least for me, it's, it looks perfect. Uh, it might be difficult to put it, uh, to have it published by an existing publisher. Um, and so it's, it's two different things. It's really a runner-up. Uh, and then beside it came the discussion, okay, but, um, what would be the consequences also for this book? Uh, and some of the books are, and that's also interesting to have both books on the table here. There's uh, the one book uh, which, which is a um, very simple layout. It has uh, a lot of uh, interesting design aspects, but it's a simple layout. It's a full, uh, full page bleed after full page bleed. And then there's the, the other book, which is very uh, complex and very foldable and a lot of uh, things. Uh, and both, so it's, it's really, um, both artistic approaches are, are valuable, uh, but there was a slight uh, preference to give uh, the winning award to the, to the Cry Me an Echo book. Cry Me an Echo. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> We've been switching languages for the day. <laughs> so, yeah. Does that answer your question? No. <laughs> no, it's it's not that this book is less good. It's it's a just the the. Mm, so there's the only process. one winner here. Yeah, yeah, there is only one book getting published, so we can only choose one book. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, so that's a very simple, uh, you know, uh, yeah. fi final point. Uh, w what is interesting in, uh, is to, uh, as a publisher, for instance, I often look for books that have a. a, a a novel way, or at least what I find no, a novel way uh, to convey a story is that invent their own artistic form um, to do that, whatever the, st the story is. And this, after all, doesn't come often, uh, so doesn't come so often, you know? But it has to be a form that really uh, support your your narrative. Yeah. Mm. But I can give the, the example of myself, and I was the winner last year. Um, I went to Paul from Lecturis and I also had an idea of it and um, well then you are confronted with, uh, with the economic reality um, and also the limitations 
not the limitation is, is a wrong expression. It's a, it's a very big prize, but everything has, has its limitations. Um, but that also is a stimulation for the creative process to see, okay, we, uh, I have a story to tell, um, I have a project, uh, how can I uh, make it even better uh, and taking in into account certain aspects of the uh, translation of a dummy into a trades edition book. Um, so that's, that's, that's something which I think is also a very valuable process um, in the uh, making of a trade edition book. And also, uh, a publisher is not a printer, so uh, it's, a, it's a dialogue uh, yep. between yeah. the artist, Absolutely. the designer if there's one, and the, and the publisher. For, for instance, I think you, you will have together to choose a paper that can compare with, uh, with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is this a little bit clearer for you? Other questions? Are there other questions? No? Okay, then I would like to thank you also for your attention. Mm -hmm. And I think we're done. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Can I... Uh, I, would, I would also like to invite you to look at all the dummies uh, in the space of the Unseen Book Market. Uh, please come by in about an hour or... Um, within this evening, they will be placed back to their places. So please go through them, go through the winner and the runner-up, and uh, enjoy your time. Thank you very much.